How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. Today it has turned winter in Forza Horizon 4, and this week we have actually been given two new exclusive cars to unlock for free over the next seven days. And as always, I urge you all to do this while you can to get these exclusive cars. Now the cars in question are the 1952 Hudson Hornet, which if anybody's seen the movie Cars, I believe that's the, the car, what's his name, Doc, I believe, I'll put a picture on screen, this guy from Cars, you can unlock that very car. And also the Citroen DS3 Racing as well, which you can also see on screen. So we have the ability to do two little challenges to unlock these both cars. So this is how you do it. You unlock both of these cars, each by doing a certain championship. So let's start with the Hudson Hornet. If you are here to know how to get it, you need to go to this championship right here. This one down at the left hand side of the map. Once you go to it, you can click the little select button on your controller and it will tell you information. You have to complete the championship, which is consists of three races on expert difficulty and you will get the Hudson Hornet. Now, please keep in mind, this championship is in the Reliant Supervan. But to put it short, you do three races in the Reliant Supervan and you have to win um, against expert driver tasks and you'll get given the Hudson Hornet. Now, trust me, do not do this stock. Get your Reliant Supervan and upgrade it a little. There's plenty of tunes on the market. If you search and you'll, you'll see them, you'll see that they've purposely been made into D-Class. And personally, I use this one from Brian O'Connor, 171 horsepower, it was D-Class and it worked brilliantly and it was a lot easier to win on, on uh, expert difficulty, sorry. Um, it's very difficult to win on expert difficulty with the standard uh, Reliant. So please do grab some upgrades on it, but then go do the three races for the um, Hudson Hornet Championship, which starts down here, and then you get given the three challenges, which are here and down here. Now, for the Citroen DS3 Racing, the championship is actually up here in the top right hand corner of the map. Once you go up here, you can click on it and it will give you information as usual. This one is also solo, unlike last week where you had to do a co op championship, this one is solo. And this one consists of very big cars versus very small cars. So I believe you'll be able to use stuff like the Unimog or, or what you see in the picture there. I would suggest picking a very large vehicle for this because it's quite easy to block off small vehicles if you want to keep first place, if that makes sense. I personally use the Dodge Durango with a bit of upgrades on it to push over 530 horsepower. This was more than fast enough to beat expert driver tars. This is the vehicle I would suggest using for the Citroen DS3 Championship. I'm going to skip to the end of it now so you can see me unlocking it. Okay, this is the last of the three races for the uh, Citroen Championship. As I said, I've done this in the Dodge Durango, I think how you say it, and it was honestly so easy on expert difficulty. For the Citroen, I do highly recommend using that. And as you'll see, once you complete the championship, which is pretty, pretty quick to be honest, you will unlock the Citroen, which we should see in a minute. There it is, it's mine. Now, as I said, the bottom left championship is for the Hudson Hornet. Now, as I also said, it's done in the Reliant Supervans, so I can't really recommend the car to do it in because you have Even to do it in the Supervan. There. But as I said, once all three championship races are done, it's not too difficult to do this on expert difficulty either because most of the driver tars fall over at most of the corners. So as long as you take it steady, you should be able to complete the expert driver tar races. And I'm going to skip to the third race now where we unlock the Hudson Hornet. Okay, here we are. I'm on the last lap of the third race for the Hudson Hornet Challenge. And again, it's been very easy. After getting a custom tune on, I didn't even need the stabilizers um, fitted. It was very easy. <clears throat> as you can see, I'm, I'm quite far in front, considering this is supposed to be expert difficulty. I'm quite far in front, very easy, very relaxed three races. I'm just about to go through the finish line now, Ooh, bit of a crash, and I will unlock the new Hudson Hornet car. There we go, that's the championship complete on Expert, and we're about to see the Hudson Hornet now. And that's basically it, guys. That is how you unlock all of the, all the two cars that are now exclusive, um, the Citroen and the Hudson Hornets, both amazing cars. 
As always, I urge you to do this while you can. You only have a week to do it, and then the championships are going to disappear, and you probably won't be able to get the Citroen or the Hudson Hornet very easily from now on. So give yourself something to do over the next week while you're probably still off school for a part of it. Do these championships, they're honestly very easy. If you use the cars I recommended in the tunes I recommended, you'll have no trouble at all getting through this on expert difficulty. And you'll be able to be the proud owner of two of the newest exclusive cars in the game. But anyway ladies, I'm not going to leave this dragon on for very long now. Go get these challenges done. Very easy, it's very cool. I'm going to leave you with a bit, little bit of gameplay of the new Hudson Hornet, which is my favourite out of the two. Let me know which of these two cars is your favourite that's just been added. As always guys, leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content. And I'll see you all in the next video. You have arrived at your destination.